Come on. Let's go. Well guys, that was uh, some footage out to Jeff's. We, uh, I forgot to do an intro, so that was, I believe, Hunt 20. Um, seen four different bucks tonight, and I think 11 doe. So it was a good night. No big ones though. Um, he's got a couple decent ones. Like I said, uh, I had the old hammer tonight. He was gonna let me shoot, but we didn't have any big ones come in, so. Um, I'm gonna try to slip out in the morning across uh, my house where I normally hunt and see if we can get a whack at tight wrap like I said I I still haven't pulled my cards I'm gonna pull them tomorrow so we'll see what uh, what we got on camera out there like I said hopefully I got ghost and tight wrap if I did I'll throw them in uh, this video we'll see you guys out on the stand oh good morning guys <coughs> it's uh, just a little after 7 November 10th and it feels like October 1st it's like 60 degrees. Got like the south wind. I did jump one coming in. Got out here a little bit later than I wanted, but it's all right. It, the rut's on, so we're game. We can do a little bit of calling this morning. Probably a little rattling. See if we can get a decent buck in. So hang with me. Keep you guys updated. Wow, that was quick.
is this gonna wrap up the morning? <clears throat> Haven't seen anything since about 8 15, it's about 10 now. Weston's getting a little cranky, and Amber's trying to work from home, so she has the COVID, so I'm gonna wrap this hunt up. It wasn't too bad. I don't know if maybe the bucks are locked down with does now or just with this warm weather, so. See you guys back out in the stand. I think I'm going out to Jeff's tonight. So we'll see you out there if I go out there. Made this mock scrape a couple weeks ago. They're keeping her open right up. My stand is probably about 100 yards over that way. We got my other stand right there. So I might have to sit in this one when I get a good west wind. big boy show up on camera so I was planning on going out to Jeff's but we're gonna try it out here again tonight we got a south wind so the wind's blowing straight that way I bumped a nice buck coming in I don't know what it was but when it was running off I could see rack so I don't know if it was a big one or not but he wasn't on a dead sprint so that's a good thing we'll keep an eye out and uh, I'll keep you guys posted That was my worst night from that stand. I didn't see a single deer all night. I did uh, jump that buck going in, but that doesn't count because I wasn't in the stand. So I did see, uh, I think there was seven out in the field when I was coming in. So, but of course you can't spot because it's November now. So I don't know if they're bucks or does or what they were, but they were just feeding out on that out on that old uh, cut soybean field so well I'll catch you back out in the stand tomorrow so keep hanging with me welcome back guys it's uh, November 10th I believe on 23 we're sitting up front we got on a straight west wind so I don't want to mess anything up in the back there but we got uh, we got a good view there's a lot of this grass and stuff is falling down and uh all the leaves are gone, so not that mock scrape right over there that I showed you the other day. And this mock so scrape a couple of weeks ago. Keep it her open Obviously right back up. in the timber, so I'll win the right, right there. behind me. Um, I might have to sit we'll sit her out and see what happens. Normally this spot's not the best, but we'll give her a try. I don't want to hunt back there with that west wind, so we'll see what happens up here. Keep you guys posted. Holy shit, guys, I just had a doe and a nice buck just sprint through here. I, I tried getting a fawn plate, but they just kept crashing through the woods. So all I could see was horns up above that grass. They, they were on a dead run. There's no way they got my wind unless they were right behind me, but by the time I heard them, I looked out, and they were probably that way, and they were just booking it. Keep sitting tight. Might not be a bad night after all. Well, that was neat. I didn't know what it was. 
had its head down and it was making a ton of noise. <clears throat> I thought it was two bucks fighting for a sec. Or a buck making a rob or a scrape or something. <clears throat> it was right up under a stump. And uh, so I got ready and uh, turns out it was just that doe come right out in front of me and seen some acorns on the ground. And uh, she just worked off. She's only maybe, I don't know, 30 yards down the lane there on the edge of the woods so we still got about another 20 minutes left to shoot night so I'm gonna just hang tight and maybe a buck will be following her well guys that uh, wraps up that night it was not too bad I thought I wasn't gonna see a thing at least I didn't get skunked I had that doe and uh, buck right in the beginning it was about 430 probably they were on like I said a dead sprint right across that field probably 100 yards from me and i never seen them again and then like i was saying i had that deer coming behind me i mean it wasn't behind me it was over my left shoulder but come in and i didn't know uh what the heck it was i thought maybe it was a buck making a scrape or a rub or something and um watched it for a few minutes and then finally it popped out it was just a little doe and uh she fed out on some acorns in front of me and she wandered off down the lane but i didn't see anything the rest of the night so uh, hopefully we can get back out there tomorrow and I keep saying it every time but hopefully we can shoot one for you guys so keep hanging with me welcome back guys play for hunt 23 or 24 I'm not sure but it's getting to the point now where it's starting to get a little starting to get a little depressing I put a lot of nights and days out in the stand and <clears throat> no opportunity at a nice buck, but you gotta put the time in in order to get one. So we got a pretty much straight south wind. So our wind's blowing up towards that grassy field where we were sitting at last night. So we'll uh, set it out. There isn't much wind, so we're gonna set it out. And we already got a deer out there. There's a doe down at the end of the lane there cross and go north so we'll keep an eye out they're already moving so keep you guys posted well guys just give you a little update it's a about quarter after four now got a doe probably i'm assuming it's the same one we've seen cross she's probably 100 150 yards through the timber just feeding i think she was just by herself but i keep looking through the binos i can't see just because the woods is so thick but she was quite a ways away, so we'll keep our eyes peeled and I'll let you know. Shit, guys, I've been surrounded by deer. And that little spike come out of nowhere. He come right over, almost right in front of me. I could have shot him. And then shortly, a couple minutes behind him, a doe followed. Then another doe. I'm assuming the first one. It looked like the one I seen last night, but I'm not sure. And then I had another one follow her. She got kind of winded of me. Didn't feel comfortable. She turned around and walked out that way. And then I just had another one pop out here that you just seen on camera. So it is in court. 
to five. So we still got about another hour or so. Hopefully there's still some big bucks left in this section. So I'll keep you guys uh, posted. guys it wasn't too bad of a night and I'm seeing that uh, one small spike come through and I think seven does so they kind of come in from every direction at night I, I guess I wasn't really expecting them to come in right downwind I mean I understand that uh, small buck and that smaller doe but it's all right it's still a good night we'll uh Get you guys back out in the stand. I know I keep saying this, but it's kind of uh, you know a little discouraging. You put a lot of time out in the woods, and I had an opportunity at that eight point, and I passed it. And now it's kind of to a point now where you know you hope a big one steps out. But we still got rifle season, so we have a good uh, chance of shooting one out of Jeff. So if I can get some footage out there, and if I shoot one, hopefully we can get her on video for you. So. Um, probably hunt. I don't know if I'll go out in the morning or not. Amber's got to work, so um, maybe tomorrow uh, evening, and then uh, I'm taking Saturday off, and uh, we'll see you Sunday morning if I don't see you guys tomorrow night.